Hello, here we want to show you how to set up the exhibit of the sensor bearing model. The exhibit um, contains an embedded PC. This is the embedded PC. You have to plug in the power cord. The green plug goes into the PC. Please secure it with the screws. You need a screwdriver because we haven't delivered the screwdriver. Then you can plug it in and please remind that this is a German 230 50Hz power connection cable so you need an adapter if you use it with another with another plugs this is a connection between the PC and the LG monitor it is a special DVI to HDMI cable here you see how to connect it to the PC also please secure it with the screws and then connect it to the LG monitor. The symbols on the back of the monitor show where the HDMI connector is. The monitor also needs separate power connection, so please plug it in. Then we need the USB analyzer. We have a cable connection also with a plug from the motor to the analyzer. Please make sure the plug is securely in position. The analyzer also has to be plugged separately into a power. And the analyzer needs to be connected to the PC by a USB cable. This also is a special one with two different USB plugs. So now we are ready. We can power up the whole exhibit. After a short while, Windows has started. Then you see page one, one of three. That can be designed individually, that is shown later on how you change the pages. On the back of the motor we have a, a small red button. This is just for use by the, um, the, the SKF people working with that exhibit. By pushing the red button once, two or <clears throat> twice you can uh, switch between the pages one two three and back to one page three shows the cosinus and sinus function and the and the, uh, the circle if you turn the shaft of the motor you will see a red and a green point that um, runs on the lines of cosinus sinus and on the circle and we we have something like a gearbox. The gearbox means we have a switch below in the black uh, box on the motor and there you can switch between a scale 1 by 1 and a scale 1 by 10. 1 by 10 means um, the display is smoother. 1 by 1 means the display shows exactly 
the um, the 80 steps for one 360 turn turn around so let, that looks a, a kind of rough if if you don't like it just switch it to the 1 to 10 that means you need 10 times to turn the shaft for one um, for one run through the cosinus or sinus wave We would like to show you how you can connect the keyboard and a, and a mouse to the PC. The keyboard should be a PS2 keyboard or a USB keyboard. The mouse you can use a regular USB mouse. To stop the presentation you can use um, the task manager or you just can kill the whole presentation by turning off the power. After starting the presentation again, You can use the task manager to stop the presentation. Stop the SKF program. On the root directory, you will find an the SKF symbol, and um, in the pass of the SKF, uh, you will see the three pages. The pages should be GIF in a GIF format um, written and in a resolution 1920 by 1080, that means HD resolution. You can change easily page 1 and page 2. The thing is, um, the pages has to be named the same way like they are named now, like SKF1, SKF2 and SKF3. Uh, please make sure if you use a USB stick to copy the, the newer files or the later files uh, that you have a um, that you have secured the original SKF1, SKF2, SKF3 because with these files the whole presentation works. If you see the window screen you can also start the presentation uh, manually by clicking the SKF icon and then the presentation starts. <laughs> 